music. What's up, everybody? Kurt is back. Katie's here, or Kay. We're, um, we're going to play some Double Dragon and talk about Justice League. Sorry it took me so long to get set up, but like you can see the green screen over here just wants to be... Part of my shadow. Yeah. Basically all the not, time. not our friends today, but it's all good. Um, if you're in the chat and you want to chat, you can. I'm going to be talking about Justice League and give my review. Katie actually hasn't seen it yet, so I'm going to spoil it rotten for her, but... Luckily, she's like me. She doesn't really care about spoilers. Cause I'm still going to see it. See? I'm the same I, way. It's, it's not going to stop me. You can't. I'm a spoiler-proof person. You can't spoil anything. I still have to see it on the screen. Um, but um, but I understand everybody's not like that. So if you haven't seen the movie yet... Um, spoiler alert now. Yeah, spoiler alert now. Get out while you can. Um, but if you have and you want to hear my review about it, check it out. I'm just checking the stream. Make sure it sounds all right for y'all. It sounds fine, so I'll put that down. We're playing Super Double Dragon today. We're going to try. She's going to try. I'm going to play. She's going to try. <laughs> uh, Katie's a PC PC gamer, aren't you? This this doesn't this doesn't add up very I, well for I don't, me. I don't know if she's ever even seen one of those before. I've seen them. Oh, just you have my brothers seen it. my brothers had them. Oh, I've just brother. watched. Garrett, yeah, shout out to Garrett. Um, if you guys uh, I forget it's What's his uh, name on here? It's like something... Boozle? Boozle, yeah. yeah. <laughs> look Boozle. For, look for Boozle and follow Boozle if you don't. Um, just yell him at... Just find him on Twitter and yell at him. Don't even tell him how or why. Nope. Just, yeah, just, hey, Boozle, I'm yelling at you now. Just because. All right, so here we go. Jump into Double Dragon. I felt like I should have, like, put us on separate... Like opposite sides of the screen, just for fun. All right. How would that work with your with your green screen? Ah, um, it's uh, it's I, I can't actually I'm not gonna give that secret away on stream, but there's a way to do it. We do it on uh, on Thursday nights when we do Fade Club. That 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 couch is on the opposite side of the screen as this couch. So, all right, let's see if. Like the controls actually want to work for us because okay. not that long ago they wanted to give us some trouble. Yep, I think it's back to giving us trouble. All right, yeah, it's like you can't leave these things alone for too long because then they'll be so. like, oh, wait, okay, so now it's saying it's connected. All right, I also want to point out that I'm using an actual controller. Uh, yeah. do you want to show them your controller? <laughs> See, we're gonna, well, we're gonna make this happen, we're still gonna make this happen. Nothing's gonna stop it. Excuse, yeah, if the green screen comes into the picture, excuse me, I'm using my, I'm not using my normal camera, I'm using my laptop camera, which doesn't always like to cooperate as well. All right, so I guess I'll have to do one player game and you just hit the start button once we get in. Yeah, just hit the start button. I'm just the cheerleader here. Just, uh... No, you can't be just a cheerleader. I need, I need some help. All right. Oh god, I'm pink. So part of this ah. is gonna be like us actually like refiguring out the game because I haven't played Wait. in so long. What's what's what? Okay, okay that's a block. Yeah, oh, so we're kinda gonna kidding. So I figured this out. Okay, jump. So down. X is jump. In the wrong way. Uh <laughs> not off to a good start. No, it's not. Oh, I think we can hit each other too. It oh, looked I, that way in the preview. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I just kicked you. <laughs> no, I, yeah, you might have. Oop. Well, okay. uh, pink is leaving. So Bye. Why, why is <laughs> punch? It. So why is punch? And you can do combos. Yeah, actually, you do you do a combo. You, I think you hit them three times, and on the third on the third hit, they get uh, knocked back. I don't know. I just grabbed him by the hair. Yeah, you can grab, too. I don't like your weave. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently He's got really fuzzy hair. hair. I don't know. Um, uh, what you call it? A or I yeah, or B? Like if they throw a punch at you. Do you think I know which colors? What letter? All right. Uh, so we'll go like. Well, see, because on mine there's no colors. On yours is colors. All right. So blue is jump. Okay, that's you. Oh, I forgot about the spinning. I forgot about that. And just why? It's why. It's just why. <laughs> I just like did like a Jean Claude Van Damme. Why is it when the when the when the redheads face. fall, they look like a little bit like Chucky? Ch oh, uh, oh. Because they got like the spikes. What's going on? Chucky was pretty popular at the time. They might. Chucky was terrifying. 
Did I pick these up? Good for you. Oh. Like, see, that was like in the prime yeah. when I actually like liked horror, so nope. I was a fan of Chucky. Not horror. I Can't used do to it. be able to like say his little spell that he would do to like take over people's bodies. Nope. I used to know it by heart. Nope, nope, nope. I think I, I think I that? used to try to do it to kids that didn't like me at school. <laughs> like, Jeez. Dumbala. Like, yeah. I don't know. I didn't know what else to do. Okay, I uh, when I was little, if I, uh, you know the you know the old. The old series uh, Animorphs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well. I remember there was one one episode or one movie from that that was uh, someone had a slug in that area. Oh, okay. That kept me up at night. A All right, slug. that alone, <laughs> that alone kept me that, up. It just sounds disgusting. It was, it was, and for I think like a year after that, I slept with my head under the covers because I didn't want anything crawling in my ears. <laughs> um, so, so that, no, don't do so the the me. show, the very show that you liked. Uh, you were in the way. You, like, you see, I have this big, like, you bow dazed staff. me. I couldn't move. You look alive. <laughs> <laughs> what was that for? I wasn't even there. That was, just, that was just to make sure that you were awake. You're still not paying attention to what I'm doing. We have to watch each other. See? I got clocked because I was too close. You were in the way. Uh, yeah, I was in the way of your fist. Uh huh, yeah. I'm sorry that my. You're backing off. Oh, my the soft <laughs> tissues of my face was in the way of your bare knuckle fist. Mm -hmm. handle that, dude. See, like we teamed up and we defeated the green. All right, you gotta handle this guy. Uh, he, just, he just whooped you up. Yes, he no, did. No, no, back up, back up. Let's see, look, you pick me. I got the stick. Let me handle this dude. There you go. Fine, I'm going to yell at Brad. Press you, the button. When you have weapons, I'll let you handle the dude. Well, whoever has weapons has got to be the one handling the business. All right, these guys are gonna come into the sea like you're doing stuff. I forgot that you can even do in this game. I think if you do, oh yeah, you can wall jump too. How do I? How do I jump? How do I do that? Um, All right, well uh, I don't blue. know, but blue is jump. Blue. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I'm hitting anything. <laughs> okay, there we go. I hit someone. There you go. All right, so once we get this game figured out, then I'll I'll get going on off my roof. All right, hold it down for a second. I gotta check chat. I just gotta make sure. Okay. That, like, hold them down. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, like oh, so not smooth. hold them down, but like hold it down. I'm about to bash you, right? Oh, I just killed you. Did you kill me? All right, it's cool. I got alive. Like I'm back in the game. We're good. I meant to do that. Yeah. Yeah. To, to take my life. Oh wait. Hold on. Can I go over to their side? No. Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh no, that's you. Whoops. Yes, I'm the pink. Go for the sorry, purples. Sorry. Well, not really purples. I'm more like a light lavender. Yeah. 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 Lavender. Yeah. That sounds pretty <laughs> accurate. They're like a light lavender. Good. There you go. Uh. Boom. No, no, I did. Okay. Here. Grab a stick. Grab a stick. Grab a stick. All right. Here. I got him in a headlock. I just <laughs> served him elbows to the dome. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. <laughs> I'll just keep smacking him in the ear. It's effective. Super effective. Yeah, extremely effective. All right. Oh, it's going for a Pokemon card, but okay. Oh, okay, so <laughs> po Pokemon, I got out, like, I got out of that game when, when we were still in, like, the original ones. Like, I think the last Pokemon game I played was Pokemon Yellow. So, I, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm rusty as I don't know what when it comes to... Believe it or not, I hit you, but I just saved your life. Just think of it that way. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I'm about it. Oh, hey, that was, like, a nice combo that you just did. You don't butt much. Not you, him. Not in his zebra pants. Okay, so certain moves, if you use them, they take they take your life. So just uh, just just watch out for it, because you'll see that meter. That, I don't know what that... What? That meter up there. The red see, one? Yeah, the one that's okay. like increasing. Be yeah. careful because some moves oh that's what it is. I think it's a I think it's a two button. Oh no, now you have your special. Like look, like you're all like on steroids. Like you're just gonna I like, hope not. No, seriously, like watch. I'm a clean fighter. Like, see like one I wanna I wanna <laughs> Hey. I, I, I have no moral stance on PED. <laughs> if they're accessible to everybody, then why not? Especially the recovery ones. Like, maybe, like, the ones to increase your strength. I'm not, I'm not so high on, but, like, recovery? Like, man, that's your health. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know. That's just me. Am I allowed to punch the guy? Okay, yes. Yeah, so yeah. I'm allowed to punch the guy in the suit. Oh, I'm thinking, absolutely. like, oh, he's dressed differently. No, 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 no. Like, if he's not pink or blue, destroy that guy. Well, he's more of a navy, but okay. 
Who me? <laughs> No, I'm, I'm no, I'm sorry. If you're not, like a, you're like you're, you're a blue. Pink. I'm blue. That's yes, what I'm saying. But if he's, he's in a, he's in a navy attack. blue shirt. He's in a navy blue suit. I said if he's not pink or blue, attack oh, okay. that guy. So yeah, attack Mr. Navy, navy blue. Didn't that was like almost there. a high five we were doing. That was pretty close. A high five with his head in the middle. <laughs> mhm. Mm there you go. So you took him out. Are we sure I'm just not a ballerina? Or maybe I had the dream of being a ballerina. My really? mom said, no, it's not manly enough. So that's why I wear pink and do a swirly kick. Uh, maybe. <laughs> that, that could be a, a storyline that is not explored in this game. I don't You're know, really man. just a, we're, we're supposed to be like twin brothers. But yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe there's something I don't know. Well, I mean, look at that spin. I mean, I got some serious style points here, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just cause, just cause. If you spin around, doesn't necessarily mean you're a ballerina. And no. if you were, it doesn't mean it would be a bad thing. No, you could be a tap dancer and spin around too. Yeah. yeah. I didn't do tap dancing for very or, long, or, but. Or you could just be me. Like, I spin around randomly. I'm, I'm not. I'm, how I usually I'm do the dishes. I'm a bad desk kind of dance. What? How what? do you do dishes by spinning around? When you dry the dishes and then put them in a cupboard, you know? Like, you twist around, do a little spin. Sing with the radio. I'm gonna have to see this in person because I have no idea what that even looks like right now. But I'm gonna take your word for it. Or you know when you just wear socks and you're like, you know, slide across the kitchen floor. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, who doesn't do that? Yeah, just do a little spin at the end. There no, you go. You ballerina. You just. Am I hitting anything? I seriously floors? cannot figure out if I'm hitting anything. Um, you're getting hit. I'm I just saw hit, you like yeah. get punched mm -hmm. in the air. Nope. Yeah, see yeah. the green dude like has like defenses. Yeah, like he has like move basically I think he has like all the moves that we have. His, his life doesn't last as long. Alright. Well I guess since we're we kinda got the game under control, I guess I can Sure, that's what this is. Thing. Control, right. <laughs> If only we're handling, like, I don't know, maybe not control, but... Eh. We, you do realize we have been making progress, like, we're not on the same level that we started off on, right? I'm out. Oh, no, you gotta hit this and start again. Start? Mm. There we go. Here I come. Yo, bro, what's up? What's up? I'm back. Just kicking butt, taking knees. Get back from my yoga class. Yeah, I just got back from Pilates and filling it. Let's go ahead and like recap. <laughs> this game would be a lot. Get out of our subway. <laughs> Get off my subway. Get off my train car. <laughs> I'm, I'm just feeling very Liam Neeson-ish right now. Watch out, it's gonna blow up. Right. Uh, oh, well, it's following you, so I think I'm it, good. It took a whole life. I forgot those things. Like, are that lethal? Oh, I feel like if this game had them like had like them being like Bill and Ted in it, then like it'd be that much more awesome. Okay, high five. It. Oh jeez. Yeah, total high five. <laughs> to my sorry. face. Five toes to my face. Thanks, <laughs> thanks bro. You know what? We're in that sibling relationship where we're just like a little Yeah, it's a little spinning <laughs> knuckle punch to the back of the head. Just shows you how much I care. Oh, jeez. Why does this make me think of my friend Francis? Uh, oh, I know why. No, have I met Francis? No, I don't think you have. I don't think I have either. But if Francis would get off on you spinning knuckle punch me in the no, back of the no, dome, I'm she not would, sure that she would feel a lot better about her uh, first attempt at uh, PC gaming. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, she's a console gamer? She's not much of a gamer. Ah! <laughs> I didn't want to die. Yeah, one does. Well, that's not true. Oh, all right. Hit my bro, bro. I'm gonna just space it out over here and let you just do spin knuckle punches until the cows come home. Yeah, have fun. All right. Did we? Did we do I don't know. We can. There we go. Yeah. But who knows how long I was just punching air? Seriously. See, like, why do you have the meter? Like, I'm not getting any meter at all. I don't know. I need to learn. There we go. <laughs> Starting, you need to start hitting me, because apparently that's what's working. I guess so. Hmm. I almost
just want to like look up the moves. I seriously like, am I just having trouble lining myself in the right pi pixel against these people? What are you talking about? You're like beating more people up than me. Ah. You make it seem like you're just getting thrashed over there. You're actually <laughs> That's what it feels doing like. a better job than I am. Half the time I'm going like, am I even hitting you? And then it dies. I'm like, oh, I guess. How are you asking, are you even hitting people when you clearly see them falling on the floor? Well, no, that's what All I right, mean. watch out, bro. I just threw like a bomb. You're gonna... Okay, you just picked it up. All right, you threw it the other way. <laughs> No, but that's what I mean. I keep throwing punches and they're not really responding until they fall over and then I have to sit there going, Oh, I guess it was working. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even I don't I don't even know what to say. Uh, if you're not, if you're not confident about how you're playing this game right now, then I've never played this game before in my life in that case, because I'm not doing nearly as good as you are right now. Uh, I'm okay, I'm I'm not that far ahead of you. Yeah, see, like, you have, like, the rage meter, like, see? You're on the roids again. Bro, I like his face. Look at my face. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're ready to go. You're like, oh. It's like, oh. See, like, how, oh, oh, that's how go. you do it. Okay. So that's how you do it. You, have, you stand. You, no, you, you oh. hold these two. I haven't done anything. I, I haven't even touched those. Why is my meter up? Some, okay, well, I guess the... I have not touched those things once. The controller is, uh... I guess you automatically. I say like, we hop the fence and get out of here, bro. Charging that up for you. Bro, man, bro, let's go. Oh, oh. see, yeah, that, that dude's serious. Like. Ah. Uh, I'm out. Why does he. Why is that. Is that supposed to be like a martial arts belt or pink one that he's wearing? Or is that supposed to be like. You know, when you're wearing a suit to go to like the prom or something, you've got like. It's just a sash. Like, you don't wear a sash? Everybody wears a sash, you know. Well, then I must not be everyone. No, you're definitely not. You definitely need to pick up a sash. I am not everywhere, man. Um, you cosplay like I do not have a sash. Like I've got. A, <laughs> just kidding. I don't have a sash. I have corsets. Uh, do you? Do you have a corset? Um, everyone has a corset. I might. I mean, just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. I know you're paying attention. Tupac had a corset. Ah. Just punching you. <laughs> Well, there goes one life. <laughs> there we go. All right. Goodness. Garrett, if you're watching, yeah, I need some tips on, on how you deal with your sister when she plays video games. See, this is that whole little little ship thing all over again. Little ship? Yeah. What's little ship? Remember when I told you earlier the whole battleship game that my brother and I used to play? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Shoot. I was always the tiny little ship just ran oh, in circles. Oh, yeah, the circle thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. The power of the circle! Oh, so that's why you keep doing it. Yeah, because your cause your buttons are messed up. Okay, hold on. We're gonna fix we're gonna fix this. Are my buttons part. messed up and that's why I keep, you know, powering yeah, up? Doing, yeah. Let's just leave it that way, because it powers up in the sun and I don't have to do it. Oh my gosh, alright. <laughs> I think I gotta look at you. Oh jeez, okay. But it also spell right like, out. like the kind of moves that you do though too. Give me your sword. I am not doing well. Ah! Bam! Mm, 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 mm. Out the way! <laughs> I stood right there. there. I'm trying to move. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see here. I'll take. Uh, I'll stay up here. You stay down there. Here we go. That way we don't get in each other's way. Okay. I guess he's. Let's see moves. Yeah. Hey ya! Nope, come back here. Why is he so fast? Okay, let's make him push it. Okay, that's, that's that. Okay, that's the jump. Hey ya! There you go. Nice. Nice. You got the moves. Come back here. Come, come back. Punch me. Yes! Just a little closer. I just always imagine in these games when you're just like that close to hitting someone mm -hmm. and you're in if that was real life you're like eh, eh. <laughs> Yeah, it'd work a little different. You'd scare your friend, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, you could scare some people. But I guess it'd be you know that would be a little thing. Ah! Alright. Okay. Yeah, okay, apparently he wants to 
I, you know. I'll charge up while you're, while you're dealing <laughs> with that. This is not going so well. Get back here, you little nutter butter. <laughs> Call that guy a nutter butter. I'm yes. pretty sure he's like pretty offended now. He's, uh, he should be. He's never been. He should be incredibly offended. He's never been offended. He's like not that even a good him. nutter butter. <laughs> I think another assistant is bad nutter butter. Maybe he's an expired one? I don't know. Maybe. I used to love those things. My grandma used to give them to me. Nutter time. butters are yeah. amazing. Yeah. Like nutter butters, like heath bars. And I was gonna say maybe he's a nutter butter without the filling. But, I mean, even without the filling, it's still They're really still pretty good. Yeah, good. exactly. My, that didn't work too well. <laughs> yeah. I was like, pretty much as long as you have, like, some milk or water hanging around, like, you pretty much can't screw that or butters up. I don't know. I'm more of, like, an oatmeal, oatmeal cookies, man. Oatmeal cookies? Cookie? Yeah, oatmeal cookies. Those are delicious. Yeah. Those are the best friends of milk. Oatmeal cookies? Yes. I don't know. I might have to say Oreos. I, I don't like the frosting on Oreos. Don't call me crazy. Well, okay, call me crazy. Yeah, crazy. But I don't like the frosting and Oreos. They're really good, though. I just like the crackery outside. I just want to eat that. Just give me that part. But that's the part that, like, like it, if it's in the milk, especially if you drink the milk after, like, that's the part that's good. The part, the fact that the chocolate wafer got in there. So you're basically wanting Cocoa Puffs. No, I want, I want milk that has Oreo chips inside. Oh, okay. See, I got once we're done, we have to go to tea for you, and you have to get the potted milk tea because they basically like ground ground up the wafers and put it at the bottom. So you like you get to drink the milk tea, and then like all the wafery stuffs at the bottom, you can like mix it up and like drink it, and then like chew it because it's all crunchy and it doesn't have the like filling inside. How would I just get some honey? Some like natural honey with the actual comb still inside, all that wax. Cause they don't sell that at uh. you. <laughs> That's probably where we're going. All right, you gotta come back because uh, I'm, later. I'm trying. I pressed start on Hi, hi. Hi, we're recording Good, how live. Are you? Hey. Yep. I'm, I'm beating oh, his butt. We're live. What? We're we're on the same team. Yeah, but my score is higher than yours. Huh? I didn't even realize we had a score. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Right. Somehow my score is higher than yours. No, I don't know I told how you that you're is. doing better than me. Do you think I'm... Okay. You're like, I'm not good at this game. Like, okay, you're most, beating everyone up. I'm just sitting here. Okay, the, honestly, the most that I am actually paying attention to the game is like, oh, God, where am I? <laughs> Who am I hitting? Yeah. Am I hitting it? Let the record show that that is not what she's doing. She's confidently speaking about real honeycombs while beating more people up than I am. Okay, natural honeycomb is delicious. I didn't say it was, but I'm saying it's like delicious. you're playing well enough to be able to multitask and talk about honeycombs. So you're not, you can't act like you're playing that bad. Yeah. You even said the score is higher than mine. I want those yes, nunchucks. I, just did. Oh, I want the swords. That's what I want. Drop one of those. He doesn't I don't well, think I don't screw think he can get a sword. Well, yeah, seriously. Oh, yeah. oh you got the nunchucks. I did. At least someone got them. You and your reflection. Get out of here. <laughs> Can't hit you. There you go. Just done. I'm just gonna let you handle that. I feel like every time he swings it, he's going, eh, 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 eh. Just piece eh, me up. He's not eh, eh, eh. <laughs> This oh, is what you oh, get by having no, knowledge. No, no, that's not, that's, that's your friend. <laughs> I really that. She doesn't, I'm telling you, she, she, she doesn't care about my well-being in this game. <laughs> like, when no, no regard for, yeah, no regard for human life, man. Okay, remember when I said my friend Francis would enjoy seeing me do this to you? Yeah. So basically, the reason, the, that, <laughs> the reason I say that, the reason I say that is because she, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, get comment, and subscribe. Get the stick! <laughs> get the stick! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the stick. Get the okay. stick! I'm right, trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Not hard enough! I guess not. Alright. Alright. Alright, okay. I'm trying not to hit you. Oh, seriously? I gave you an opening. Yeah, that stick is called. Yeah, it is. Alright, there we go. Uh, uh, uh. I'm getting my Bruce Lee on. I know, what you right? want? What you want? What you want? Yeah, yeah, what the jacket's <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Why are you always trying to do that? Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. No, 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 no. I had the stick. See, look, you walk up in there. I did. I did. I admit that I did. Well, then get him. Just look at the nunchucks. I'm working on it, but it keeps reflecting. No, come back. No. Oh, well. I See, just like the, flying nunchucks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know pick if you're up. gonna be able to pick them up, up. If, if you have your if your buttons are and stuff like that. It's a, uh, it's uh, the I think it should be the yellow button. Yellow, lock. Uh, try yep. green. I'm trying all of them. There ah! There we go. And we lose them just like that. Oh, oh watch why out for did this I thing. try then? Oh, well, at least yeah. you know how to do it now. Oh, all right, well, if, <laughs> if, watch out, because if you punch if you punch this thing, it can um. I just won't go on its level. <laughs> but but it, hey, I'm trying to get your nut, your nut checks. Yeah. And then as soon as we get why, them, we take yeah, three steps. Why, why have me get those and then just oh, next level? Let's go. Bye. You, you gonna learn today? You had to learn. I'm out, bro. <laughs> Bye. See, here we go. Oh, there we go. We can we can. <laughs> you just hit yourself. All right. I that was you. That, that was all I you. Didn't, I didn't hit myself that time. Oh, oh. Ooh, you knocked yourself <laughs> loose. I'm trying to find a spot where there's like less of that. Oh, just less of that. Man, well, man, you know what? Guys, it's been great. I'm gonna leave now, get a cup of tea. Yeah, right. Why does my yeah, face like, look like in rain? Yeah, like you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you owe us a Pokemon battle. We made eye contact. Or something like that. Trade. If I can hit it. So are we supposed to be talking about Justice League here? Um, yeah, now that, uh... uh and I die. Now that we're kind of, kind of got it going. Justice League... Oh, man. Um, so I'll just start off by, because it's not, because if Where'd I... It go? It's probably going to sound like I didn't like it, and that's not the case. I liked it more than I disliked it, but there were some definite things that I really, 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 like... Well, I'm not... Didn't like it. I'm moment. not too surprised, honestly. Why is that? Well, we saw the preview. Yeah, we did. I mean, I kind of already knew, like, you know, to, to, to start off, like... Uh, I'll... excuse me. What, what happened? <laughs> oh, that's... punching me. I'm trying to get out of here. Oh, I think we have to go up. Yeah, but they keep coming down, and I can't see them. No, oh, my bad. There you go. Okay. okay. All right, now we can scuttle. Okay. So, you know, um... You know, Zack, Zack Snyder as a filmmaker, I don't have, like, a problem with him overall as a filmmaker. I mean, but everybody knows. Like, he's not a writer, so he doesn't excel at creating um, storylines. He excels at visuals. 300, um, everything he did with Watchmen. Sucker Punch, again, another weak storyline, but, like, incredible visuals. So he, he excels at, at, at visuals. That's, that's what he's good at. He was a visual effects director before he was a, uh, a feature film director. So that kind of already lets you know like where his strengths are as far as filmmaking, mm -hmm. and based off of the fact that he didn't come from a long extensive background of directing performances out of actors, more so, you know, directing you know bot movements and emotion um, within graphic graphic design. Um, I paused it. Um, oh, I paused it. No, it's okay. But that's. Oh, I did. Some, I did some that's why his movies aren't really known for having the greatest performance especially if he gets actors you know that um you know that aren't really the greatest actors you know an actor like henry cavill you're gonna need to have a bit better of a director to coach the correct performances out of him uh an actor like ben affleck you don't you know you don't need a great director to cast uh, to get those great performances out of him but the better director you know still the, the better his performance you know like a david fincher for uh, uh for gone girl yeah so that's kind of my thing with um with uh I totally thought you were me for a second. I just completely lost track of Blondie here. Oops. So that's kind of my thing with Zack Snyder. Um and that's what you know, when I when I now when it has to do with characters that I don't really now I will say that um my I don't know if it's my favorite movie from him, but but his best movie in my personal opinion, and the only Zack Snyder film that I own is Dawn of the Dead. Not known for its visual effects, it was a lot of practical effects, some digital effects, but you know it's a zombie movie where 
the um the group of people get stuck yeah. within that mall. I and saw Shaun of the Dead. Shaun, oh, Shaun of the Dead was awesome. Yeah. But um, de- doesn't have as much humor as Shaun of the Dead. But but yeah. he, but he had um some very solid uh, actors in it. Uh, oh gosh, is supposed to be the boss. Is, is, uh, that's one of them uh, okay. for this well. level. Um, not Malik Yoba. I'm trying to remember uh, the guy's names. Black director is in Soul. Food. I mean, a black actor and he's in Soul Food. Oh, Mackay Pfeiffer. So Mackay Pfeiffer is a really solid actor, you know, like, and especially for what he brings, he doesn't always need the strongest director, so his performance was really good. The lead lady in the movie, like, her performance was really good. She was a pretty solid actress. I haven't seen her around in many things lately, but she was really good. You had the, um, the guy um, who, who played uh, Stamper and, um, from uh, from uh, House of Cards, who, he, 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 who, you know, David Fincher is part of that. He was in that movie, so you already know that he has the chops. Um, and there were some other people in there that, um, you know, weren't as good, but they were more in there for comedic effect, and they, you know, they um, got the job done. So he had a solid cast, and I, you know, and, and I think that's why people didn't have as much as many problems with that movie, and that movie did so well. Not to mention, oddly enough, again, with Zack Snyder not being um, a writer who is uh, who wrote that movie. Katie, actually, I'll give you a guess. Um, who, who do you, um, it's, and it's, a, and it's, you've seen his movies, he's a very popular wow. director now, too. Well, I'm dead. Um, yeah, you have mm-hmm. game over, but I will carry on torch for us. Um. Take my pink sash. Um, since apparently everyone has a sash. Yeah, yeah everyone but you. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the writer of Dawn of the Dead was James Gunn, director of, and writer of Guardians of the Galaxy. So, oddly enough, even the Zack Snyder film that I do end up writing was heavily influenced by someone who helped Marvel. Uh, that was just funny. But anyway, so, the, yeah. So, you know, again, he when you cast right and you give him, you know, um, some really solid actors, you don't have to worry about the performances so much. Even with 300, like, uh, was uh, Gerard Butler was the lead in that extremely good actor um the uh who else was in that movie that wasn't a star at the time michael fassbender that is not a question to ask me oh yeah well uh, that's more for chat um so yeah chat there you go michael fassbender was in that movie um i forget the name of the guy who narrated it but he's an he's a uh he's a an, actually he it was the same guy who played the villain in uh in uh in the not so loved um Iron Fist series, but the but the actor himself had a really great performance. Uh, he played uh, Harold Meacham. So, dang it, they got me I know it's gonna happen. But he's he's you know he was one of the better actors on the show. You know, seasoned actor. So again, you know, going back to casting, when you have really solid actors, then um, you know, in the lead roles, then Zack Snyder does just fine. Now Henry Cavill, going back to him. Not the strongest, not the strongest actor. Not really known for his acting chops. Um, you know, a very handsome guy, very fit. You know, good looking, and, and a well enough actor. You know, he can he can get it across. I think he did really good. And um, this is the man from Uncle, I believe, was um, the last big movie that I saw him in that he did really well. Yeah, it's um, I think that's based off of a comic book as well, uh, the man from Uncle. Um, but anyway. So that's that's kind of, such as the tell with Zack Snyder movies. You know his performances are going to be as good as the casting, uh, the casting uh, director who you know who the studio hires, um, and that and that is what you know kind of bring it back around. Um, oh yeah, and oddly enough, that guy who played Stamper, who I was talking Stamper from My House of Cards, who was in Dawn of the Dead, he was actually in Man of Steel. He was one of the uh, one of the employees of the Daily uh, Planet. Yeah, so, you know, that's Snyder, you know, again, bringing back people that he's worked with before, which is, you know, very commonplace with uh, with directors, you know, or, you know, any professional, you know, you work with someone, they did good work for you, you know, you already have a working relationship and you're comfortable with them, you bring them back for the next thing, right? Um, and, you know, and uh, to go back to the casting, like, you know, I think, I don't think it was like a mystery or not like it, like it wasn't known that Cavill wasn't the best, um, the best actor but you know definitely looked the part of superman i think he looks like superman even more than christopher reeves i just felt like christopher reeves acted more like the superman than i had known since i was a kid 
Um, but uh, I think all superheroes kind of have such a remake of their personalities. Um, well, yeah, I mean, for so the way that I look at it is, you know, like you over. I mean, well, the way that it is, you know, character, you know, a character will be started, and then you know, you have multiple writers over, you know, decades, yeah. you know, um, you know, kind of telling different stories with these uh, with these characters, putting them through the ringer, putting them through different things and dilemmas, yeah. and that's what we like to see. Like we want to see how their character stands when going through these crazy crises, right? Yeah. So. Over time, you know, you have different uh, characters going through different things. Some of them, the things that work and that resonate with the audience stick, and that in, can end up becoming, you know, like a like a very important part of of that character's um, of that character's persona. And then the things that don't stick, um, you know, tend to kind of fall by the wayside. Yeah. Um, and then over so many years, you know, all those writers ultimately contribute to what does or does not work for the character. Um, so for Superman, you know, like he he's been through a lot of things as well. Here, let's give it another crack. You ready for more? You can do this. You can do this. I believe in you. <gasps> Jimmy Cricket. Supergirl. Come on, let's go. Um, so Actually, yeah. Supergirl is not one I I have a costume for. Oh, is that right? No. Maybe, maybe you should. Supergirl's awesome. Well, oddly enough, and this is. Not me being a creeper on stream, but I do find Power Girl far more interesting than Supergirl. Yeah, well, she's like the one. And it's not because of her costume, it's literally because of her character. And the whole concept of her being from, you know, a different a different uh, universe where in that, um, where she, um, she's actually far more, far stronger than, in my opinion, I think she's stronger than Superman, but Superman's Superman, so they're gonna always make him. OP He's the invincible the man. Come on. Right, the Uber bitch. But um, but no, like you know, thing you know, people people try tons of things. Even modern day, like there's tons of stuff that gets tried with them. And there's even you know, right now we have you know like the main Batman storylines with like you know Detective Comics and the Batman run. And, and then you've got the uh, like the fan fiction books that get published. Yeah, but those aren't canon. To Ella. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see, those are the books that you buy. I think they're <laughs> for hysterical. Comedy. Yeah. No, oh I mean, my like, gosh. They're entertaining. They are. Right. Oh like, my gosh. Especially when you do like voices on them. Too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and see, and that, and that's, and that's the thing about like fictional characters. Like, we, we can have so many versions and renditions of them, and and, and appreciate them for for different reasons. Batman sixty six. Like, I'll, I'll, I, I, I never have dissed like like that version of Batman and nor will I because I grew up on that Batman I think that Batman is a valid and entertaining rendition of Batman now I know someone like Anthony Steves who's part of the Capers Crusaders he he doesn't like it and he has, good, he has good reasons I mean like yeah Batman running around in the middle of the day um, in his costume holding a bomb you know frantically like he doesn't know where to put it like I get it that, that's well a very there were ducks point. over the bridge there were nuns to the other side there was a baby stroller on the other there were things in the way yeah I'll give you a forum where you and him can duke it out on those things I didn't I could. some days you just can't get rid of a bomb <laughs> that's that, that literally sounds like the quote no some that is the just, exact quote is it really yeah See, there you that's go. I'm about to say that that sounds that sounds just like it some days you just can't Actually, it's more like a panic voice. Than like, Some days you just can't get rid of a bum. <laughs> Not that bad. But um, but you know, to, but this again, the stuff that the stuff, the most popular stuff, the stuff that works the most is what what Batman's known for. And Batman sixty six is not nearly as popular as the more dark, you know, the Dark Knight version of Batman that you know became popular oh, yeah. again oh. with um with Frank Miller in the eighties, and that's fine. Um, now my my Superman, I'm I'm um. I, I, I grew up with Superman, but I was never the biggest Superman fan. Like, he yeah. wasn't ever really, like, my favorite. Um, my favorite? Well, he, uh, he, he definitely was... I don't know. He's just, for me, he's very overpowered. Yeah, he's OP. You know, like, crazy. And I get it. That's kind of part of him. He is this superpowered being in... You stop changing direction. Just let me punch you. <laughs> Dear God. Um, now, yeah, for the most, so, and, the, and what I like of Superman, like, is the more old school kind of, you know, like, golden age, golden era. Yeah. Um, Superman, you know, just like the Boy Scout, kind of like, you know, not, and, yeah. and, and, uh, and nothing, nothing, I mean, like, nothing against the rest of the world. I have a love for 
all races and you know and um just my whole let thing, me kill you please <laughs> my thing is As you uh, talk about yeah i know like trying to <laughs> talking about world relations but um no I, I have love for different cultures and stuff like that my only thing is as long as you're a good person then then yeah. then, then everything else is something that we can learn from we can learn from each other and share but um i do enjoy more of the boy scout kind of you know all american superman than i do this kind of newer you know like international um superman just because like you know i think more because i'm just more comfortable with it because that's what i grew up with mm -hmm. and the and they i feel like he when superman is superman's at his best when superman is simple i don't believe, like he's already op like when you try to make him too complex i think you you you, you you're bit i think that's like a ploy to try to ignore the fact that he is overpowered and you do have to get more creative you know with how you how you uh you know make the situations difficult for such an overpowered being um i can't hit this guy but i can hit you apparently i guess so god dang it so um i'm doing so horrible this round Woo. You, i think you still have a higher score I, no no i've got half your score man oh okay I guess when we start talking about, uh, apparently when I start talking about reviews, then I really start playing better. Apparently. <laughs> I play better when I don't concentrate, I guess. Um, but yeah, so simple Superman, kind of all American, you know, kind of old school, like, um, you know, black and white cartoon and um, in the old series. That's kind of Superman I really like. And, and that one came back in this one. And Henry Cavill, you know, um, you know, he, he uh, he looks that part. You know, Christopher Reeves played that part, but Henry Cavill really looks that part. He really looks like Superman. Um, but it's just that, like, okay, so keep him simple, and I think Cavill would have done a better job, but we try to make him too complex. We Batmanified Superman in, in Zack Snyder's world, and that's what I don't like. Like, keep Batman and his complexities on his side, and, and, and let Superman's dilemma be that he has to learn how to live with the guy that doesn't see the world so peachy keen, but at the same time has the same goal as him to protect the citizens of the world. Um, but, you know, uh, I think Zack Snyder doing Watchmen first, and, and I really do like what he, what he did for Watchmen. That's probably my third favorite movie from him. Dawn of the Dead, then 300, then, um, then Watchmen. Um, or well, it might be my second. I don't know. I gotta. I might have to rethink that order. But we're gonna have to do an entire video on how you prepare. Uh, that It'll is be a exciting. good like four hours of you <laughs> trying to figure out. Hmm. I like the shading in this one picture. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. That's the thing. That like, puts this one point ahead. I, I well, to that point, I didn't question Zack Snyder's uh, like digital effects work until Justice League. Like before, I felt like he was ahead of the curve or right where it needed to be and then in this movie like you could really see that his effects house is behind like the cgi especially like on so many shots of cyborg you went right into my foot and, and yep i did my bad and uh and like some of the different green screen things just I'm... like it looked really really bad i mean like you know just really subpar for what a movie with such a large budget should look Come like here. Here and get murdered. Um, and then also, I know you know with the reshoots and a lot of the restructuring of the story that they had to do. Like I'm sure that you know you don't get to spend as much time with the digital effects, so you know that's going to yeah. render render them not as good quality or not the same quality as if you have more time. If you fall um, off the screen, you should just instantly be dead. I'll, uh, Stop coming. I'll tell the developers of this game so they can uh, yes. put out yes. a patch for that. Mm -hmm. Please. So, so that's kind of my thing about Superman. Like, I felt like Superman is best left simple. Um, let 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 his issues be, you know, like, you know, dealing with, you know, just with the um, with the fact that he is a superpowered being on a planet of glass, basically. Yeah, I mean that, that that alone is some. Um, and then when it comes to you know him, you know, dealing with um, different personalities, just let it be like, you know, clashing per personalities that have the same goal, having to did, learn to live with each other. Did you ever? Gosh, there was a Superman movie that came out, animation. I cannot remember what it was called. All Star Superman. Was that what it was? There's where a bunch he, of like, them. I'm just, I just threw that. Where one he out basically first. Uh, acts like he's killed all these people. Try and prove a point to everybody. That might have been All Star Superman because that, I think it might have been because that's the one I threw that one out first because it's the one that I haven't seen. Okay. Um, all the other ones I've seen. Well, that was like the one movie where my brother actually liked Superman until like the last ten minutes because like finally he's killing people. Yeah. Gosh dang it! Well, see that's the and then they cut. Then you find out that they. Well, yeah, you don't care about spoilers. Yeah, yeah then you find out that 
Superman really basically faked it the entire time. He yeah. made it look like he murdered these people. Mm -hmm. They're you know, bad guys, but yeah. he did it to try and prove a point to the city. And it worked pretty well. Makes sense. Um, well, I mean, see that. So that's the funny thing. So as far as versions of Superman that are my favorite, that yeah. my the, the the my three favorite versions of Superman are like the gold golden era one, or go, uh, golden age one, um, Red Sun, and then Superboy Prime. And Superboy Prime is my favorite villain, my favorite comic book villain. Period. Did you, um, did you ever watch um, Legion of Superheroes? Basically what it is, it's kind of like uh, Justice League in the year 3000. They go into the past and they're actually in this version. The group that Superman joins and learns how to uh, develop and work with his powers before he goes to Metropolis. Okay. No, never, never heard of that one. That's actually like one of my favorite interpretations of Brainiac 5. Brainiac 5, yeah, another villain that needs to be, be in this universe already. I think it's Brainiac 5. I'd have to double check that. There's so many Brainiac versions, but basically, he is a good guy. Brainiac? Yeah, this version. He's the one that, uh, in Justice League, when Supergirl goes with Green, uh, it's Green Arrow and Green Lantern to the future, mm -hmm. he's the, uh, the character that she falls in love with and decides to stay in the... Your 3000. Oh, okay. Uh, and then they have to go back to Superman. So, uh, so your cousin found a boy. And they basically act like they don't want to tell him what who his name is because you know, it's Brainiac. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, what, so would, the, what would one think? Like, yeah. you say any Brainiac like yeah. to Superman, he's going to be like, what? Well, no technically, word? this Brainiac is like, if you go by Legion of Superheroes, again, that's merging a lot of universes if I, if I try and go with both of those. But just gonna get away from the bomb. Nope, I confused who I was again. I thought I was you. <laughs> Why do I keep thinking I'm the blue one for a split second? But um, but yeah. Anyway, so Anywho. all that to say, um, making Superman too complex and Man of Steel and the other movies is what kind of turned me off about Fred. Superman. Um, uh, BBS, it, that just went to like the 10th degree. I just couldn't stand Superman at all. And I really felt like all, a lot of the Clark Kent scenes were just terrible. Just because they were, you know, under underacted. Um, well, I would say yeah, underdirected. Uh, I put that more on Zack Snyder. They were underdirected. I mean, Amy Adams, again, you know, go back to casting directors like Amy Adams, incredible actress. Lawrence Fishburne, who played Perry White incredible actor um kevin costner incredible actor um uh diane lane who played ma kent incredible actress so casting wise i think after man is um, well even during man is still they kind of knew that they defending needed defending yourself just let me kick you why do they keep defending themselves i mean come on i just want to kill them <laughs> these guys are really bugging under your skin right now aren't they <laughs> they're boogers um but with all of those, uh, I don't know what's the what's the like age appropriate language on your. No, you can say boogers. <laughs> um, Gosh, boogers is such a curse word. And I'm actually asking, can I like curse them? You can if you want oh, to. Okay. I'm, I think I'm the only person that like. No, I don't know if David Barry does. I don't think he does. But I'm the only person with like a with the Captain America mouth on here. I think everybody else pretty much like lets it. Well, fight. I usually, you know, am pretty non. Yeah. There's a better way to say that. Yeah, you all know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> I like that way. I'm usually non-cursive. I'm more like print. <laughs> oh god, I had a lady send in a letter that she wanted me to translate, and it was all in cursive. And I'm looking at it going, "What makes you think I can read this?" Does she have like handwriting like a doctor or something? Hey, we got another viewer. Hey, thanks for tuning in. We're just we're lightly covering Justice League. Oh, is that um, what we've been doing? I thought we were kind of complaining about Superman until this point. <laughs> well, that was all going to segue into uh, talking about it. I think we got we just got off on yeah, the Superman tangent. Yeah, I know. They're all part of the Justice League. Ooh. The Justice League tangent and the Zack Snyder tangent. Is, you know, I don't like these guys with the swords. They just keep being jerks and blocking me. And I just want to kill them. It's not that much. There we go. Anywho. I'll just cheer from over here, brother. That sounds Ooh. good, brother. Sounds good, bro. Eh. Uh, Justice League. Yeah, 
So anyway, my, my, my main issue, I mean, even, um, all that to say, the Superman that I got uh, in this movie was more of the Superman that I've been looking for. Um, I still don't feel like they got him all the way right, but it was better, and I feel like a lot of that was due to Joss Whedon coming in and kind of lightening up and brightening him up, getting me, instead of the dark blue and it always being night or very dark around him. It was very colorful, you know, a lot of sun. You know, um, he was uh, more lighthearted. I mean, that was after he fought the Justice League, anyway. After they brought him back to life, mm -hmm. um, which because I, back, because he because Superman never stays dead. Um, well, what comic hero character period ever stays dead? Like no one does. Nah. Um, but they, but that was not, that was one of my knocks of the movies. They should have never killed him in BVS. That was just I, th I felt like that was just lazy. It's like okay, yeah, we need to get an emotional rise, everybody. We'll, we'll just kill the most important person, like in the story. I don't know. There's yeah. a there's a comic I saw online. I can't remember who wrote it, but it was fantastic. It was basically someone. It was a church scene. It was an empty casket with Superman's logo, I believe, on it. And it's someone in the audience suddenly stands up and goes, "Why? Why are we? Wait, why are we here? We all know he's gonna come back. No one cancel any plans. He'll be here next week." Oh yeah, that was a fanfic thing. I guess like a joke, oh, like a it? meme oh, or like a joke or something. No, no, it could have been a real comic. I thought I, I thought, I thought I there was remember. something like that going around. Like, why are we sad? We always know that superheroes never die. Oh, no, no, this one was plans. like specifically Superman or something. Oh okay. No, it could have been a comic. I it's not like I read every single comic that comes out, especially like <laughs> Superman or Justice League ones. But um, but anyway, so yeah, that's the Superman part of it. Like I don't, I didn't like the part where he fought the Justice League. I felt like that even that was kind of kind of lazy and too easy. It's just like low hanging fruit. Yeah, have him come back, fight, beat him up. And I know it was used as a as like a device to show like how powerful Superman is in yeah. compared to everybody else. But yeah, did like come on. I don't know. I just thought that was kind of lazy. And weak. But we all know that Batman comes up with backup plans for every member of the Justice League. Yeah, with, with the exception of this movie, yeah, 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 like like well, well he well he had a plan he had a he did have a backup plan for Superman went crazy oh. or whatever yeah but it was even like I don't know, like even that was kind of under I don't know if it was under underwritten because it wasn't like a bad it wasn't like a bad plan but it's just like oh, okay yeah Lois Lane shows up. And then Superman just snaps out of it and just picks her up and just like they just fly straight to Kentucky, if that's where Smallville. I think Smallville's in Kentucky, isn't it? I, I think I don't know. I don't really. I never really read much of the uh, Superman. Yeah, I think Smallville's supposed to be in Kentucky. But anyway, yeah, they fly. <laughs> they, they fly to the to the place and everything's right in the world and everything again, or at least with them and Superman. So I don't know. It was just kind of lazy. Everybody was just kind of like, oh, yeah, 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 she just shows up and everything's right. Um, like, why did he even really get, like, they don't even explain, like, why he was even upset with them in the first place and needed to fight him. Like, he had never even seen Aquaman before. He never, I mean, he'd seen Wonder Woman, and when he saw Wonder Woman, like, she was always on his side and fighting valiantly and handling Doomsday when he was fighting alongside her. And then Batman, like, you know, yeah, maybe there's a little bit more of a reason to, like, want to fight Batman, but at the same time, like, they didn't explain why he would be so angry after he woke up from the dead. It was just kind of like, you just woke up from the dead and you're just cranky. Um, now, luckily, within nap that... wasn't long enough. Yeah, I guess, I guess not. And, and there, and now, to that point, there was some good writing around that, like, some really good lines, like, he grabbed Batman and was like, you won't let me live, you won't let me die. You know, and I was like, yeah, okay, that's cool, that's good writing. Um, you know, when Flash, you know, um, decided he wanted to be a part of the fight and ran around and then realized, like, while everybody else is in slow motion, like, Superman is, like, turning his neck and keeping his eye on him, and, like, he's not slow, he's fast, too. And then Ezra Miller's face when he realized, like, how fast Superman, that he wasn't the only speedster, you know, it was like, well, not that Superman's a speedster, but, I mean, ha he has super speed. Yeah, he does. You know, so, uh, just, just for, it was almost like Flash's first time you know coming in contact with someone that there's someone could else keep up yeah and so that was really entertaining that was really a funny comedic moment um it's always nice to see wonder woman like just kick uh, it just the, the, the way that they have wonder woman kicking butt in here is is just refreshing to see i i i like one i'm not that i'm like a huge wonder woman fan but i have a lot of respect for um yeah. for diana like i really like her Go i really like next. her character um I think I like Diana Prince. Uh, just her, her character is all I really enjoy. 
practice my jump over here. Yeah, yeah. You can like hit some other buttons, see what other things do. No, that's all about. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's a but Batman in this movie. Oh man, uh, this is probably my least favorite Batman oh. of. Um, of, uh, and I know people want to say, what about Batman for everyone else now? Batman okay, and Robin. Okay, excuse me. I enjoy those movies. It's same. I actually enjoy those movies. Like, not, I like how not cheesy the, they are. I yeah, like same. They're cheesy. They're campy. I grew up on them, and, and I like them. Now, are they great films? Yes. N <laughs> that's what we're going to disagree. I would just say no. They're not great films. They're not great movies. But they're not bad movies either. They're and, enjoyable. Yeah, they're they're enjoyable. The, um, You know, yeah, there's really... I, Style's different. Yeah, people want people. I think people like to say that they're bad because of the campiness, because there's some yeah. really campy. But you guys think that those lines were written in there to to be serious? Everybody knew that those lines were. The writers knew that those lines were cheesy when they wrote them. That's the whole thing. So, but I, but I, I give everybody a pass on it because I can understand how people could not like the campiness. Yeah. So that's fine. But I don't have any problems. Um, with with uh, with those movies, but the but the adults that went and saw it, that did that, you know, and the critics that you know gave those movies those scores, Just and the reason why they underperformed and why there wasn't a Batman movie for a while, I'm I'm fine with it all. Um, so, but yeah, no Batman in this like. Just oh, way, way, like way too like because Batman can be extreme, but he was way too extreme to have so, like such like, such weak reasons why he had to be extreme. Like even from the BBS, if there's even a, a one percent chance that he could be an Emmett, we have to take it as an absolute certainty. Like one percent is not absolute; one percent is partial. So you're saying based off of a partiality, you have to. Uh, you have to take it as a as a certainty, like you know, as as full and absolute. That doesn't make sense to me. That was just again kind of lazy, kind of lazy writing. Um, but uh, but I did I did uh, at least appreciate Batman a lot more in BBS. In this one, he's really like he's just he's just kind. I don't mean weak physically, but I mean just as a character, just like a. When the strongest thing about Batman is his mental, right? Like, yeah. he, like he's relentless. He doesn't start genius level intellect. He is the detective. Um, he's the best detective in the world. He figures it out. He has reasons. He does his research. He he was so under researched in this movie. It was really like Batman living off of a prayer. So many things were done off of a whim. The reason that Superman, like the way that Superman had to come back, was to me like morally wrong because they basically grave robbed him. Like they went and they dug him up. I was like, that's terrible. That's like, Lex Luthor right there. Yeah, like that's something, it's, and exactly, that's something that I would expect Lex Luthor to well, do. Well, he's done that, I mean. Uh, well, yeah, no, yeah, I mean, that's literally I mean, multiple times, like more than once, he's grave robs. Wait, have I ever shown you the clip of like, of Lex Luthor being like really weird, where he like strips halfway down, he's pins Superman on the floor, and he says, who's your daddy? That sounds like fan fiction. <laughs> no, that was an actual animated movie. An animated that, movie? Yes, I will show you that oh after gosh. this. It was the most awkward moment of my life, because he's like beating up on, uh, on Superman, and he's yelling, why did you leave me? Why? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's punching him with these kryptonite gloves, and then he, uh, he finally like, has Superman on the ground and he like pulls off his gloves and he's just in a pair of pants and That's <laughs> just kneels bizarre. on top of him and says, who's your daddy? And it's like, what? That's Who disgusting. agreed to this part? See, it's, it's like, it's little stuff like that, like that, like, that, that, that kind of makes me happy that some of the stuff with like Hollywood and all that is coming. I mean, like, not that there's been victims, but that is coming to the light because all this little like weird, like, like stuff that has no place inside of like, you know, kids comics or whatever, oh, she, like needs to, needs to stay out. Like, it'd be one thing. It was like, so, like, like, yeah, it's just I mean, awkward. It was an animated movie. I'm expecting like, oh, cool, all right. Cause I'm seeing where the story is going. Yeah, and then the scene happens, and it's like, what did I just yeah, see? Yeah, like, like I can't even <laughs> see that. Like that's just weird. <laughs> what just? What did I just witness? Yeah, like fanfic is fanfic for a reason. Be it like you know, like more adult fanfic or like stuff that's still you know like appropriate for kids, but. I don't know, like, there's no reason to make stuff that, like, should be age-appropriate, like, inappropriate. I don't understand why people I mean, it's, like it's, it's supposed to be, yeah. the idea is supposed to be, like, oh, Superman got killed, Lex Luthor is all pissed off about it because 
he wanted to be the one to kind of like it's it's a back and forth. Yeah, yeah. you're you're my arch nemesis. You're my rival. That was kind of always thing. Lex's thing. Like yeah. Le- Lex, like Lex, like yeah. not, not only like want like Lex does want Superman like right where he wants him, and I'll yeah. give him that. Like he is infatuated. You yeah, know, like he, he, is. he like yes. over everything. He's infatuated. But they kind of took that to an extreme in this. Yeah. So you have Superman who dies, and then Lex Luthor. And I, I I'll have to try and look up the actual animation name because okay. I can't remember what it was. Um, but then you got Lex Luthor who's like in such a I want to say uh, obsessed state mm-hmm. that he goes in and like steals some of he steals the uh, Superman's body mm-hmm. <laughs> as he's done so many times yeah and so he decides to clone him and make his own Superman army yeah and I, I want to say didn't yeah. he didn't he steal Superman's body or like thought that he did in the death of Superman oh I'm sure I mean or like paid for Superman's funeral I can't like he did something that had to do with like Superman after he was deceased uh, I'm but um, but anyway, oh, actually we're doing pretty good this time around getting to this dude. Like I don't think we. You have even no have to... lives left. I have two. Yeah. How but, did that but happen? Have either of us had to press the start button? Yes. Yet to keep going. Like, yes. Yeah. Like three times. Seriously? Yeah. He's... But uh, anyway. We got into a Lex Luthor and Superman discussion. That's right. But um, but yeah, back to Batman. Just. Aren't um, we supposed to be like back to Justice League? I mean, we haven't even. Oh, well, I'm talking about that. <laughs> Batman's character within the yeah, Justice League mm-hmm. movie. It was just, it was just, he was just like a very, 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 like the stuff that we like about Batman with him like being so knowledgeable and researching and having all those contingencies. Like, yeah, one contingency that we knew of and then everything else was like really just like living on a prayer. And he's not even, the t- like Batman's not really a hopeful person. He's more about like data, probability, you know, like being cold and calculated. So me and I couldn't get away. Yeah, see, look, like last time you couldn't even press start. Now, like you were able to press start, and we're still going. So we're gonna be farther. You have no lives left. Yeah, but I can still press start. Like, cause I don't even think I pressed it once. And I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm gonna need to do that, cause we're handling this dude right now. Yeah, see. He. <laughs> got it. You're just gonna leave me hanging. I was like, nah. you're leave me? on nah. stream of most of all places, <laughs> like you're just gonna leave me hanging like that. No, like, I wouldn't. You're just wrong. Actually, the back of my mind was funny. Like, all right, how do I respond with it? Do I do a la la la? Oh, is that a? That's a reference to you know Big Hero. But... Yeah. Um. Uh, what was his name again? Uh, it was. Baymax. Yeah. Baymax. Yeah. Yeah. La 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 la. Yeah. In back, my mom was like, "Nah, let's just go with the usual." See, one of the few uh, animated movies recently that I like. I, I watch every that. animated movie. Yeah. Yes, you do. I because do. you just love animated movies. Yes, I do. Yeah. See, I'm not. I don't. I love animated movies that I love, but I just don't love them in general. <laughs> Although I do, I like I'm into anime, um, but I'm I'm very picky when it comes to animation. Oops. I'm picky when it comes to animation and art. Like, uh, why did you want to see my art today then? Because it's good. <laughs> like, it's all old stuff. <laughs> and it was like, okay, there we go. Now. I'm Ah! It's not gonna go well. But yeah, we Batman. Not not good reasons to do things. The whole like, what about the mother box? What if we drop it in the water? What if we put Superman's body in the water? I mean, it's the same tank that that Luthor put Zod in to create Doomsday. So you know, yeah. Logic. You know, yeah, yeah, logic. Yeah, uh, not really logic. Um, weak logic, but yeah. So. I just I mean, want to imagine that's how that's how Batman sounds. Just get me out of the corner. Thank there's, you. There's more or less of that like in there. It was like there, there was a bet. There was a higher probability of Superman like based off of you know like Zod was a Kryptonian. Yeah. Kal El's a Kryptonian. Yeah. Like you put one Kryptonian in there and <sighs> and and, <sighs> and you turn him into you know a monster. Like what makes you think like oh, you would put another Kryptonian in, Kryptonian in there and instead of bringing Superman back to life, you just <laughs> create Doom, Doomsday 2.0. But they did it and it worked and Superman's back to life now because he should have never died in the first place. 
So yeah, I just, I just didn't, I just didn't like ah! Batman very much in this movie at all. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, another side note. I didn't really have a big problem with the mustache thing, the CGI. Like, yeah, I knew it was there, and some other people might have thought, you know, it looked funny. But I didn't really it, like it, it. It took me out of it for a second. It did, but then once I got over it, like that wasn't my biggest gripe about about the story. It was a lot of the pacing. The first. Uh, oh, I guess I can finish talking about characters first. Um, Aquaman, I enjoyed. Again, some of the bad writing made some of the decisions that he that he made like really bad especially in the beginning okay batman comes and finds you then you take your you take your shirt off and then you get in the water and you swim back to atlantis you know you didn't really prove like why you have a tie to the city that you keep coming to and helping these people in um other than you know you help that one fisherman who was about who's drowning, drowning in that boat and then you walk to the bar and grab a bottle of whiskey and say put it on his tab like okay who you know like Aquaman, you know, heroes for whiskey. Cool. Like, I don't have a problem with it, but really? All right. Um, Take like a dagger in the back. Yeah. So, I don't know, that was the Aquaman thing. I didn't, I, I, overall, I liked Aquaman more than anything. Um, and his, all his jokes and his humor and him being like, you know, such a, such kind of like a rough and tumble kind of guy. Mm-hmm. It was really cool. Um, I already knew I wasn't like gonna like Ezra Miller as Barry Allen because it doesn't look like Barry Allen and more than not looking like Barry Allen he didn't act like Barry Allen at all he acted more like Wally West which I was like why didn't they just make it Wally West Flash so he could be all witty and quippy and like it would fit the character better because um, what were we talking about I had an Aquaman know where Atlantis was oh it was a white act oh that's um, Aaron, Sir Aaron Carter what's up Sir Aaron Carter what um, what were we talking about we were talking about uh, Justice League I'm doing like my Justice League review except oh, I haven't what? seen it yeah Katie hasn't seen it yet though um, how did Aquaman know where Atlantis was so well at least they established that like he when he went down there like he and Mira were t- were speaking at uh, as you know as if like they had a pre-existing relationship he had been down there they talked she even referenced like him coming back and stuff so so it was it was, it was within there it was kind of known but like yeah it's true they didn't do a really good job as storytellers like introducing us to that they just kind of hopped right in yeah 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 yeah. we're doing spoiler full yeah. spoilers it's been out long enough I mean like the rest of the media puts out their spoiler oh, review yeah. like the day before huh? how long has it been out now? um now a week oh gosh a whole week yeah man for big budget movies been out like there this for a while <laughs> well like I said like like the all of the the movie critics like they literally yeah. like yeah, as soon as the like embargo that. up they put out their spoiler reviews like the day before yeah. the movie because internationally it's released you know the movies have been released you know um here I mean over overseas before they've been released here it's been a new yeah. trend which I think is a good idie for the movie studios I think it's effective uh, to a degree but um but yeah no they they just didn't do a good idea I mean and this is what happens when you decide to do a team-up movie before other people get their individual movies and you have time to expound on backstories should we oh yeah I'll pick it up oh. do another round I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm almost like I kind of want to let her actually let's we'll give it a second we'll give it like 10 right. minutes and we'll jump into like one more round we'll do one more round and we'll be done but but um but no that was kind of the that's some of the problems you know like you didn't get to talk like Barry Allen's storyline is um is like underserved Aquaman's storyline is underserved Wonder Woman's we got enough at least of her origin but still what a big gap of it is is like um like where was she from the end of Wonder Woman to till now and even Batman brings that up like you know you were coward you went and you hid like after all that stuff where were you yeah. so you know that 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 um that's that's a kind of oh okay so wh- why was Batman useless why um we kind of went over the Batman topic yeah um why was he I mean they wrote him that <laughs> they wrote him that way um no is is so when the same thing man they, they brought him in too soon and they ma- they gave him too much purpose in BVS and then they had to reel it back um, to kind of because he's such a strong personality they had to reel it back to make room for the rest of the personalities like you know like he can't be all brooding when he goes and gets with flash I mean well I mean he could have been but 
he had to lighten up a little bit to allow Flash's comedy to breathe. You know, he had to lighten up a little bit because Aquaman is the super serious one. So Batman kind of had to take like a like a like a, a characteristic like middle ground and be super moderate to let everybody else's personality shine through because really like Batman would just dom on everybody He'd just be like we're not doing that you're dumb there's and here's why he'd have all these facts of why we shouldn't do why everybody else did and you have like Aquaman was more of an emotional character Wonder Woman is a very like she emotional from the sense of like righteousness like this is the right thing to do passionate pa extremely passionate that's a good word um and then uh who else and then cyborg Cy 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 i ended up enjoying cyborg in the movie more than i thought i would okay. i kind of written him off before i even got there um just because like he has so much his story is so rich and his characters like and his abilities are really rich so for them to not giving him like at, like at least like you know i don't know 40 minutes before to kind of explain it all. Heaven forbid. Just, heaven forbid they, you know. Yeah, gave him actually, a movie before they put them all together. Well, heaven forbid they actually kind of develop, I want to say individual movies. Right, yeah, I know. To kind of like give everyone a full picture of like, oh, that's your personality, that's right. your history. Oh man, now all you guys are coming together? Yeah. Fudge. Yeah, exactly. And that went into make it epic. Um, Batman uh, and his death wish. Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, like. Like that was that's what I'm saying, man. Like Batman was like he was kind of this weird like not emo emo Batman where it's like, dang, I'm right. the reason why Superman's dead and we really need Superman right now. So I will risk my life and look like a fool trying to bring Superman back instead of just like thinking of another way to get the job done. So it doesn't sound like an emo trying to. No, no, and, well, and that's the thing. Like, they like they they ended up making him <clears throat> unnecessarily emotional. Um, like they didn't need to like I don't know but, I mean not that Batman can't be emotional but it's just like like why why all of a sudden out of nowhere like you, you, like I get I get that you were wrong about him and he sacrificed you, you were wrong about Superman and he sacrificed himself to like take Doomsday at which he should have never died in the first place but I don't know it's just this movie was like it had goods and it had bads. It, it had, yeah. That's it, what I'm getting it, off it of It just this. barely had, like, more goods than bads. But th this movie was them make like, trying to fix huge mistakes that they made in, in BVS. And that's what you feel. You literally feel it. Like, it's just like, oh, hey, we, th we shouldn't have made Superman so brooding. Let, let us put a random Russian family in here that we keep cutting to for no reason. Just so when when uh when what's his name when Steppenwolf shows up, Superman finally shows up, beats beats his behind for three seconds, and then here's the Russian family and has to go off to show that he's he's humane, like he actually cares about humanity instead of just fighting all these villains and screwing up a bunch of property all the time. Uh, let's see, he didn't seem like a calculating character. No, Batman didn't. He that's what I'm saying. Like he was super like on a everything was on a whim. We have to like. What if we grab a mother box and what if we grave rob Superman and then put him in the water and that's then flash? What if you run a, really fast? Okay, that's a lot of what if. Right, and Batman, Batman is he's not a he's not he's a heavy not a what, what if. if. He's like this is how we do it. This right. is how it's fixed. Right, and the, here's and and why? Because this is the highest probability versus the, based off of all the other yeah. things that I've explained. So Cy, Cyborg could have not. The cyborg could have not, not been, been Blue, Blue Beetle. Beetle. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, like I personally am a fan of Blue Beetle, but my preference is actually the second generation Blue Beetle. Yeah, you like Ted Cord, yeah, not Jaime. But do you I mean, enjoy like, Jaime Reyes? I, I just some levels. There are some Jaime Reyes that I do enjoy. Like mm -hmm. I really enjoy the Young Justice version of him. Yeah, because yeah. he had kind of his he had a strong personality. But I also know that there are some comic versions of him that almost come off very whiny and very crybaby and very yeah. annoying and god shut up yeah yeah very like <sighs> tweeny yeah very tweeny but um Which, i mean i understand because you know the prior blue beetles to jaime have all been adults yeah they've yeah. all been adults and um been very similar to you know contracting their own devices and making their own stuff being kind of the detectives yeah. Um, so Jaime is well, now Jaime, being, like inherited yeah, technology, like alien technology, yeah. And, yeah. and trying well, to fix it. He's I mean, been, trying to figure it out. Yeah, he's now been thrown into this historic role of being a blue beetle, and it's kind of like shit. Yeah, yeah. What do I do? Yeah. But um, but no, I mean like, um, yeah, no, I know what you mean by like the cyborg and him being blue beetle. But I yeah. do have to point out that in 
in the Justice League um, New 52 run, they when they introduced Cyborg, they did have him like kind of like when he got his tech, he kind of was like, oh, what do I do with it? Like how like how do I figure this out? And he did have like his weapon systems and stuff acting on his behalf. Yeah. So th- so that kind of was established before. Um, not, not like I don't want to put it all on them that like they totally Blue Beetleified him. Like that well, that I, did come from the New 52, so that was yeah. based out of the comics. But I think that also could have been helped if they actually developed individual stories individual movies i should say for people because then you actually get more of like a oh well cyborg has gone through this he's figured out he's learned he's yeah he's made his mistakes ability. yeah exactly. rather than like yeah let's have some quick little shots thrown in to try and make it look like oh he's figuring it out go right yeah kind of like how bat and batman begins like batman went into the crime world and then he made a bunch of mistakes and yeah you know got his got his butt handed to him and but he, he developed and he grew and he became uh, more confident and, and more sure of his his ability right. and what he needed to do. Right, absolutely. No, I agree. Okay, so the mo- the movie was uh, emo blue beetle. This movie was rushed. Yeah, the movie was, n- not, and not only was the movie rushed, but then remember, like when Zack Snyder had that that family tragedy, then Joss Whedon had to come in, and um, and then from Joss Whedon coming in. They did all those massive reshoots reshoot- and reworked the story. Right. So not only was the movie itself rushed, but then when you got around to the fact that they had to redo all that stuff, the last part of throwing together the movie with the second director was rushed too. So it was double rushed. And I don't know if we've ever seen that before. Why hasn't she been on the video game bang before? Uh, I don't know. Do you want to? This is Aaron Carter from Video Game Bang. Uh, oh. They're, they're friends of ours and they have a. a, a uh, a gaming podcast. They actually live in the Thomas as well. They they live like uh, the the studio is just like five minutes from here. So I don't oh, know. Cool. Like I can. Would you ever like to be on video game? Bang? Can I wear a costume? Yes, you can. Because they have like. <laughs> do you know who Ivy Doom Kitty is? Cosplayer. Yeah. She's yeah. part of Video Game Bang. Okay, my so, cosplays are not that good. Oof, who who's are? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but but no, I'm like they. I'm made of might. Who's from up here? She's a really big cosplayer. She used to be on the show regularly. They have a lot of cosplaying friends because they have a pretty strong presence Teach at like me. cons and stuff. Teach me. Yeah, well, I mean, you would, if you go on the show, then maybe you get to meet them and they can share some of their. I'd be down for that. You. Okay, cool. Well, she's down to she's down to come on Video Game Bang. So there you go. Um, this franchise can be saved. Um, I'm gonna disagree with that. I think, I, th- I think it was, I think it was dead when they deviated from um, from Man of Steel two turning into BDS. Like they well, should have just done Man of Steel two, but they messed but up. I, I think that you know it's kind of to save the franchise. Something like that would be somewhere along the lines of doing what they kind of did with Spider Man. <laughs> Wait, get, 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 redo, get, 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 redo. But, yeah, but look how many times <laughs> they had to do that. So they had, exactly. they had the first Spider-Man. I'm Spider not saying Man. doing it that many oh, times, yeah, but I'm yeah. just saying like they just completely redid it. Like shit, let's try this again. Yeah, that's what they had. To, I mean, and that was after they had redone it. So they did the three movies with Tommy Maguire, and they came back with uh, was it uh, Andrew Garfield, and they did those two movies. Right. Um, and then uh, and then the first one was was decent. I didn't love it, but it was it was it was pretty solid. And the second one was just like you know a bunch. of of them trying to build the yeah. Spider Verse, and uh, and they they totally let go of the story and just put everything on the future, and that didn't work out to the point where Sony finally was like, hey Marvel, you know we're we're down to we're down to 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 get with you now since all of your movies are well not all, all of them are kicking butt, but they're they're all more than not successful in some way, at least majority of them. Um, Flashpoint, then let me write the new universe. Yes, you can. Flash is so you, <laughs> you know. The, I'm sorry. The, I'm like I like Flashpoint the storyline, but to me it's just, like like here's the thing, man. Like I, I don't want I don't want the movies to continue to be like 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 the 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 reason for all these movies be to try to right right the wrongs that they made in the last four. My you know well the Last three or four, minus uh, Wonder Woman, but like I'm I, like I'm tired. Stop putting me through that as a fan. Like I didn't mess these movies up. You know what I mean? Like you guys did with the decisions that you made. Why do I have to keep paying my money to watch you guys? You know, like erase the pencil and then try to you know on the page and then try to rewrite it. I'm 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 over that. Well, you know there is the undo button. Have her people call my. People. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll uh, my, my people is me. <laughs> her people is her. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll hook her up with, um, with your Facebook Messenger because she's on Facebook. So. Man, I should have worn my poison ivy on here. Crap. Well, it's no. not all the way ready yet. No, it's not. I don't have bottoms. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> 
I have no comment the, on that. Um, but the pop, the top part's all put together. I mean, I would just be in jeans. Well, I mean, no one can, no one can see the bottom anyway. So I guess you could, I guess you exactly. could. Exactly. See, I could just avoid jeans. You could just avoid jeans. All right. Well, you could have done poison ivy. I want to see the DCU thrive in the movie scene. It's not that I don't want to see the DCU thrive. Like I love the Nolan movies, and those are really good. But that's because they picked an incredible filmmaker to do it instead of a guy who's just good at visual effects. Like. They, 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 a guy who's good at directing actors and writing. Christopher Nolan's a writer. His brother, Jonathan Nolan's a writer. Uh, David Goyer is a writer. David Goyer wrote one of the first successful superhero movies in, um, in Blade. You know, a lot of people forget Blade, and a lot of people act like Blade wasn't rated R. It's not like this comic book movies being rated R is a new concept. Blade was the first successful comic book movie to come out oh, from Marvel. Uh, Batman had already been done in the 80s and throughout the 90s, but Marvel's first successful comic book movie was Blade, and it was rated R. So, and, and David Goyer wrote that. David Goyer helped write Batman Begins, and David Goyer also helped write... Um, uh, Superman uh, or Man of Steel, I believe as well. But um, but so the, I want the DCU to thrive as well. But man, they they picked Zack Snyder, a person who's not a writer, who's not a storyteller, to be their guy to be in charge and to take over the whole thing. And that was their first mistake. They should have hired him as a visual effects um, consultant, or, or maybe just say, hey, like we're gonna pair you guys together. The, here 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 is um, here is a storytelling director, and we want you know him to consult with you and then pay them buku bucks so yeah because when it comes to the frames like up until this new movie like he was second to none in taking a comic book panel and then turning it into a movie frame he was the best at adapting a comic book novel and then doing it and you can see that with, with what he did with Watchmen. he's not good at directing performances and he's not good at telling stories you can tell um but yeah no so what are ways that the dcu can thrive at this point i'll i'll phrase that question to myself or to both of us how they can oh, thrive yeah. no, blow it up just like when you got a, a a struggling team who you know whether it be in soccer whether it be in football my preferred sport is basketball i have no preferred sport what about esports what what about esports no okay uh, let's say, okay my aaron i'm gonna let you handle this because my my experience with sports consists of in high school, um, let's see. I played. I played. I tried powder puff football. You played volleyball. That was a college, but high school was my first time doing. You still good played. Job. <laughs> but I was. I'm kind of going through credit, years. Is what I'm, I'm going through years here. Okay. High school was first. College is next. Okay. Work with me. Timeline, man. Okay. Timeline. Timeline. <laughs> but my experience with sports consists of if I'm not playing it, I'm probably not watching it. Well, That's fair. Sports, in sports, I like to be in the game, not so much watching the game. Um, in high school, I tried powder puff football. Uh, my coach at the time, or the teachers, whatever, of the powder puff, um, didn't really... They didn't tell me it was non-contact. <laughs> uh, I, so, I, I, I think uh, I can imagine. <laughs> I think I can imagine what that's like. So, um... Someone tossed one of the girls the ball, and I took her down. Well, now that we know that Katie's a bruiser, and uh, don't play sports with her because you could get injured. Um, but okay, but the concept the concept that we're talking about to yes. bring it back to bring it full Sport. circle is when, when you have a team that's like that you you've given them multiple seasons to see what they can do, and you can see that they just can't yeah. get over the hump. Yeah. That's when you blow it up. Like you you start trading off pieces, you know, for draft picks or you know, for other assets, you know, or you move a guy and you bring another piece in to see if that could be better, but you blow it up. So that's pretty much what they got to do at this point, in my opinion. Just just blow it up. Get like, Zack Snyder, thank you for all you've done. You know, I mean, it sucks that it comes at this time, like, you know, again, after he had a, that family tragedy of his daughter passing away, but it's like, you know, it, like, you, 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 if, if you feel that bad, keep him on. Again, as a digital, you know, effects consultant, um, I don't even want him to be in that role now because... His effect, the effect, the digital effects were subpar in this movie, and he's starting to look dated. He's no longer ahead of the curve. Like all of the Marvel movies are looking like they have better, um, better CGI effects in it. TV, I've seen TV shows that look like they have better visual effects. Um, so just get him out of here. Get a strong storyteller in here. You know, um, you know, a, a younger visionary who's, you know, maybe on the right track. Um, 
uh, you know, who that is right now. I don't know. I'd have to go through a list of people, but I'm definitely down to see what Matt Reeves does with this Batman. Matt Reeves is a strong candidate. Um, or you can go back to not even having a cinematic universe or don't put so much emphasis on it. Just say, hey, we're going to do another Wonder Woman movie. It's going to be her own thing. It's going to be standalone. Don't don't expect it to tie so close into everybody else's stuff. So hey, we're going to do another Spider-Man movies. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah, in a sense, but like, but don't limit yourself because this no, current no. Spider-Man is 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 in a a, a cinematic universe. Yeah. He's in the Marvel universe. Don't even worry about that. Like, start taking characters, start start getting um, writers involved who have um, just strong skills and a strong passion for the character, and then see what they can do. But get but, nerds. The, uh, yeah, absolutely. The only thing is, I and I am I am one of those people that I'm I, I don't believe that. Just getting nerds is the no, answer, no, no, I, and, and no. I'm not saying that that that, that you feel that, but I, just to kind of balance it because there's a there's an influx from and me being a nerd, all of the stuff. There's an influx of well, if we just wrote it, or if you just got this person to write it, this super nerdy person, this person is super knowledgeable. Like the fact of the matter is, movie watching is a bit like movies are a business. Yeah, and you have to get someone who understands how to appeal to people in this format appealing to people in a written format is not the same right. you don't have no, a budget when you, you don't you don't have a budget on what your comic book can look like when you do a comic book yeah. that your budget is your imagination you're limited to what you, you think you're of you're intending like okay i want to do this level of detail i want to do this extent of detail right or and even then your budget's just time like yeah. your imagination's time how much yeah. can you think of and how much time do you have until you hit the deadline to put the yeah, comic book exactly. out exactly so, you know, the, 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 that's what you're limited to when you're writing comics. But then, you now, how do you adapt that? Well, d you wrote this crazy big fight scene that took, you know, two issues to complete. Is the studio giving you a $500 million budget to do that? Yeah. <laughs> no, they're not. So you have to abbreviate that scene. You know, um, you know, this story, you had three different trades, so 15 issues to play out this whole story. But in the movie theaters, you only have two and a half hours. Yeah. You have to leave stuff out. You have to decide what is what is detrimental to the story and what are things that if you removed them, it wouldn't hurt the story. So you, you that's the thing. You have to balance it. You can't just get nerds to just nerd out and be like, oh, no, I know. No, I don't mean, do I don't mean like get nerds that don't nerd out. But I get, I, what I mean by nerds is what I um, get someone who kind of understands the character. Absolutely. Yeah, get absolutely. Get someone who like, you know, is a nerd enough to the point of like, oh, well, I have a bunch of this specific comic book hero. Right. So, and I've read a lot of their stuff. I've read a lot of stuff from the author and understanding of the character so yeah and that's before yeah. they even start making the movie exactly. that's like when you go into them and that's going to like to that writing. point jeff johns who is now a part of the movie making process is supposed to be that guy he he's written all of the characters and he's written some of he's written my favorite stories recently about majority of the characters he's supposed to be there i did feel his influence on wonder woman i did not feel much of his influence in in justice mm -hmm. league and he i mean like he is the closest i mean he is the writer that all the nerds love and he was involved with it and they still screwed it up so i mean in that case maybe it's you like at least have the ner the, the nerdy comic book people there to like basically Reel maybe you in. yeah or, yeah, or, or, or cast you or out the, the people that they're bringing in to do the film like have him be in there in the meeting and be like okay yeah this guy knows knows enough and i have a good feeling that he understands the character or mm -hmm. this guy doesn't know this character at all he's gonna screw this up like have jeff johns at least be that guy in the meeting you know what i mean like if he can't take over the whole thing himself have him at least be the one that gives him the yay or nay. Yeah. And I think things can Something. work out better like that. Something to kind of help with the, the, the direction of the character. I don't mean like have a nerd who's going to be like, oh my god, yes, this is... Uh, just let's do my fan fiction or something. Right, just yeah, like, yeah. let's go crazy. Let's do all my favorite things. Right. I think more like a nerd of... of having more of a, a solid direction to help build off of. I agree. And I think if, I think if, if they get to the point... Like, because this is my hope... I, I would like the people that do fanfic and do these interesting stories that other people don't think. I would like them to have a shot. And there's been fanfic movies that, you I know, like... I my Batman book. No. Oh. Nah, I'm glad you left that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you left that out. I have, like, three of these books that are just printed, hardcover, every chapter is a different story. And they're all from different authors. It's wonderful. It's hysterical. Yeah. That's, I, uh, I hysterical it is. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. I don't know if it's wonderful. Well, okay. There's I don't some... know if it's full of wonder. 
It's it definitely. Can't be. <laughs> It's definitely hysterical. Oh, yeah. It's a oh, kick yeah. in the pants. We can call it that. Yes. <laughs> oh, a kick in the bat pants. A kick in the uh, spandex. I was going to say kicking the utility belt, but okay. Oh, I like that. Huh? I'm kicking the utility belt. But, um, or, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh oh, you're about to, you're about to go to a, you're no, my to brain went to dive birds down of that prey. nerd hole. We're, my, we're my brain went to birds of prey. And Bird, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, see. Yeah, now we're really nerding out. But no, overall, um, the, the overall movie, like, you know, because I think I talked about just about every character. You got Cyborg, Aquaman, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. A little yeah. bit of Wonder Woman, not too much, but Wonder uh, Woman because I was in the right direction. Yeah, so. she was in the right direction. They, they, there was, there was the only. You also went off her Flash. Yeah, I went off Flash. The only issue I had with Wonder Woman, and it wasn't even with her; it was, just, it was with the storytelling. They had her do the turnaround. Like David Barry brought this up in one of our chats, but they had her do the turnaround smile too much. Uh, um, uh, and, uh, and and I know this sounds. I don't know how people are gonna gonna take this because I'm of the mind that women of age are able to do whatever they want with their bodies but I'm one of those people that I'm kind of over the, the I'm like I'm way over the over sexified renditions of things that we continue to pump out in our society I would have really enjoyed it like if they didn't have to do the up the butt shots of Wonder Woman of course and like I was even surprised that they were in the Wonder Woman movie that Patty Jenkins directed I, I like I, I don't know her personally. She like obviously she was fine with it because it ultimately came, or maybe the producers over overruled her, which I hope that's not the case because that's just more, you know, sexism and you know people in positions of power, specifically men abusing that. But I, I mean, I would I would just really enjoy like us getting to like not having the need though. like you already had. I mean, and 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 I, and even this the scene with Chris Pine when he was in the the little uh the little regenerative pool and you know he was basically naked like can we just take the like so much of the flesh out of the movies and just stick to what we like about the characters and their personalities like there's places to go if you want to see you know booty shot <laughs> yeah there's, there's there's adults have access to that and, and the ways that they do but i don't think it needs to be in like all of our superhero movies not not that it has uh, it's just there's just been too much of it but anyway that was kind of really my only gripe they still had to put the up the up the skirt shots of of wonder woman in there and then they made her do the smirk too much because again they're just trying to sell the appeal of gal gadot um look how pretty yeah look it's how like pretty. she's gorgeous don't get me wrong like but, no, at, but like but as she were... is there's yeah. there, there's a there's enough appeal with her in the Wonder Woman costume and known to sell yeah, it. I don't without believe we need to, cheeks. To overdo it. Exactly. Like, try and throw it in your face again. Remember, she's hot. Yeah. It's like, how could I forget? She's gorgeous. <laughs> like, come on, you know. It's like, like they're trying to easy. remind you every five minutes. Look. Yeah, look. It's like, okay, all right. But that was my only thing with Wonder Woman. Other than that, like, she was spot on again. She was one of the better parts of the movie. Um, but yeah, oh, and then I guess we can talk about the villain Steppenwolf. Um, Steppenwolf, Steppenwolf was a weak villain to me. I, like, and I think that's just it could be because a lot of what explained him got left on the cutting room floor. But um, but hey, I have to judge the movie based off of what I did see. I can't judge it based off of what I didn't because I haven't yeah. seen those scenes that got cut out. I haven't seen the the two edits that Zack Snyder turned in before Joss Whedon got involved because Zack Snyder had to take away. I can't judge it off of that. I have to judge it off of what I saw and yeah, what... you have to judge off of what was finalized, what was yes, given. Exactly. And with that said, um, the chemistry of the characters when they all got together in the same room and they were start they started working together. That's what put it over the top of being more good than bad to me. Like, my, my overall th thing with the movie is I 49% couldn't stand how bad, like, the editing was as far as, like, the choppy storyline and now stuff. Now, is that a 49.5 or is that a 49.8? That's a, that's a, that's a hard 49.0. Okay. Um, and then 51% uh, that I did enjoy because the chemistry when they all got together, when Superman showed up and he was the bright Superman and he was OP and just beating Steppenwolf down. Um, and then, yeah, just, just, just the chemistry between it, everybody, that's what put it over the top to me. So that's pretty much my review. Oh, I guess we can talk about the, the end credit scenes because people are talking about that. I was excited to see Deathstroke and <laughs> I guess I learned that I can take uh, Jesse Eisenberg's like Luthor in small doses. Because now that he has the ball head and he wasn't <laughs> and acting like a teenager, like like a spoil, like he wasn't acting like Zuckerberg from the social network so much. He was palatable and I could stand him. 
Um, uh, Joe Manganiello looked just like not only Deathstroke, but when he took off the helmet, he looked like uh, Slade. Uh, uh, yeah, he, he looked just like Slade. Nice. So that I got excited about. Now, am I excited about what they're doing for the future now that they might do Injustice League or Legion of Doom? No, I'm not excited about it. They keep screwing up these movies. Like, why, why would I set myself up to be disappointed when I walk into the theater next time? If that okay, movie comes I, out, I, I will let it wow me, but I'm not going to be, I, I'm not going to look forward to it. That's not good. Okay. Good or bad. Mm -hmm. That's not going to stop you from going to see it. No, I'm gonna go see it. Exactly. I'm gonna, yeah. No, absolutely. They're you, gonna get my money once. You, but here's, yeah. but I'm the type of person like I saw, I saw, um, I saw The Dark Knight five times in the movie theaters. I saw The Dark Knight Rises seven times in the movie theaters. I saw Captain America: Winter Soldier seven times in the movie theaters. So when I, when I when I really connect with the film and it gives me those emotions, I'll go. I'll give them my money five times over. Yeah, I go once. Well, hey, you know that, and that's and that's and that's that's good, you know. But like, this is my way of letting the movie theaters, the the studios know, I appreciate what you did this time. This more like yeah, this. this is my way to encourage them. Yeah. They, they like they get they take. There's two responses to get to them. Like, you can go with um, there, well, there's three. There's public outcry. There's critics, and then there's money. Yeah. But the main one that yeah. they'll pay attention to is money. So to let them know that I appreciated what they did, I will continually give them money. That's my way of saying make more at the quality like this. When they only when they only do it at a subpar level, then I go see it one time, and I'm like, hey, I, I you know I, I went and I to see what you had to offer. What you had to offer wasn't good enough, so I only get my money one time. So that's my way of letting them know. And then public outcry. I mean, obviously, like. I, I mean, I guess I can. I'm considered media, you know. Like I'm, I'm not like a critic that I'm not like a critic that's registered on Rotten Tomatoes. So this won't affect that score, which I know, you know, they they are they don't like that's not the end all be all. But they they want the critics to to be okay with it, you know, or to be happy with it. They want the fans to love it. Yeah. They don't need the critics to love it. If the critics, I mean, because there's movies that the critics do love, all these indie films that no one goes and sees, you know what I mean? Like, and I love indie films, but the, these are larger movie studios. They're, they they want the critics to be okay with it so it doesn't get thrashed, so it doesn't have negative publicity. Right. They want the fans to love it so we go by the toys, the little plastic people, we go by the video games, we buy the mugs, we get the t-shirts and the hats and the keychains. and. You know, and then Christmas is, you know, full of that stuff. That's what they want. And, um... Wow, I must be a very reserved nerd. You, you are. You don't act like you don't know that. You know you're a reserved nerd. Well, I didn't really consider it before. It's like, okay, well, I have a bunch of nerd purses. That you make. That I so make. So they don't even... That it's not I like, make. They're not so, making money off a of license to merchandise. Exactly. <laughs> so the but felt. you are promoting, though, them, and, and they, they appreciate promotion. The retweets and all that stuff like that, like... Having the purse is just another way to come out. But um, but with all that said, like that's pretty much how, how I felt about the movie. I liked it more than I did, and it was the chemistry with the characters that worked, and everything else about the movie, including the story, was just just about utter rubbish. Well, good to know. Yeah. So, um, but I, but I think I think it'll be. I mean, literally, like if you look at majority of the reviews of people liking it, that's that's what they mentioned. They mentioned the chemistry when the characters are together. That's what works when. When uh, when it's us trying to when it's them trying to expel on the story, it's pretty bad, pretty lazy. Um, I don't even think we need to give another crack at Double Dragon. I think we. I think I kicked your butt enough. We were on the same team. <laughs> by the by the way, the score the the last time around, did you see it? Like no. yeah, I had double what you. Oh had, yeah, no, I, that one I saw. I kept yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, that one I saw. I knew. So. So when I was like about to die, I was like, oh well, I've got to get the score here. Jeez. But maybe, just maybe, we might have to do another one one day to see. Yeah, but the first one. round I kicked you. So. I'll let I'll let the, I'll let the chat uh, be the judge of that. But anyway, um, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Uh, you know, bleh. I don't really know what else to say. I hope you enjoyed is, it. Is that how you end it? Just bleh. Yeah, obviously. Of course. Okay, we've um, become Dracula apparently. More or less. Mm -hmm. You don't really have a ton of social media for people to follow you on do you uh, really, no. i've got twitter do you want do you want them to follow you on twitter <laughs> sure you don't have to give it out oh no that's fine i'm okay. just wondering 
you do have really great art that you need to post more of on there. You should promote your website. Tell them your website. Uh, <laughs> if visit, you want to. <laughs> visit my website at um, katherinedorlanddesign.com. Uh, what do you what what should they expect when they go there to look at? It? Um everything from uh, I am a and d player. Um I do do Pathfinder and a little bit of Starfinder as well. Uh, so you'll find some characters based on um, those styles of game, items from well, those styles of game as well. Uh, a lot of cartoon stuff, um, and a lot of fantasy. That's kind of my my shtick. Cool. So check that stuff out. You already have all of the stuff for the Capers Crusaders. Just go to our website, thecaperscrusaders.com. And but this is the main place we want you guys to be hanging out with us and asking us questions and whatnot. So it's Curtis and Katie, and we'll see y'all sometime in the future, maybe. And we out. Bye. <laughs>